Guys, I am so hungry. I'm at the point where like I am hangry. If I don't get food into me within the next 15 minutes, I'm just gonna turn into a big rainbow version of the Hulk. Today is a BJ's taste test. I have never ever done a BJ's taste test. I've only eaten there one time and it was years ago. I think I got some kind of pasta, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. So this is literally all new to me, but today's not just any old taste test. It's a value menu taste test. I got most of the menu items from BJ's that were under $7. So it's all their cheaper items. I really like to do these kind of taste tests at pricier sit down restaurants because I know that a lot of you guys are on a budget and you would like to know out of all the cheap food at BJ's, what are the good items? At least in my opinion. You know, we don't like to waste money, especially on a budget. So I think these kind of taste tests are very helpful and educational. I got like 17 items, I think, and it was like under $100, which is insane because places like BJ's and Cheesecake Factory are very pricey. They are. It's part of the experience, but you know, sometimes we want to go there and just get some cheap food, save some coin, right? So these are all the items I got. Chips and fire roasted salsa, garlic parmesan knots, white cheddar mashed potatoes, a chicken breast, you can just buy a chicken breast, a burger patty, a meatball. <laughs> you can buy one single meatball, guys. White chocolate macadamia nut pizuki, a pizuki, which I've never had, is like a pizza cookie with ice cream on top. I'm here for that. I got like four of them because like four of them were under $7. A sugar cookie pizuki, house-made guacamole and chips, honey sriracha Brussels sprouts, fries, creamy couscous mac and cheese. That sounds very interesting. Rice pilaf, onion strings, peanut butter pizuki, bacon. You can just buy bacon. And a chocolate chunk pizuki. So all those items are under $7. I'll get into all the details as I taste test them. And of course, at the end of the video, I will pick my favorite and my least favorite items. But first, let's unbox everything, okay? So we have two chips. One is for the salsa and one's for the guacamole. Pretty good sizes, that's pretty full. Now here's the guacamole. Ooh, very chunky looking. Like really, really, really chunky. That looks delicious. I might try that first. Like my mouth is watering. And here's the salsa. It's kind of full and liquidy, so I don't want to spill. Ooh. Next up we have, oh, the burger patty. Guys, spoiler alert, this was under $4, which is a very good price for a big blob of protein. Very nice. I'm shook about that. And I'm the kind of person I love meat. I could totally eat a burger patty by itself. I always feel like a keto queen when I'm eating like a lot of meat. I swear, people on keto eat a whole cow a day. <laughs> I'm not joking. Here are the garlic knots. Okay, very cute. There's only four of them, but let's see what the price was. I forget if it was a lot or not. They smell pretty good. Not that garlicky. They smell just kind of simple, but they look good, so. Now here is the chicken breast. So you can get it, I think, grilled or blackened. I chose blackened because I feel like that'll just have more flavor. It smells incredible, like that smells so flavorful. And I think that was cheap as well, so that's great to know. Ooh, I think these are the mashed potatoes. That's a big side. A lot of places, their sides are like this tall. This is very heavy, that is a big portion. They smell great, they smell really, really good. Now here are the Brussels sprouts. I think they're honey something Brussels sprouts. They smell really good. It could be a bit more full, but. <laughs> Here's the rice pilaf, another very big side. And then this, I think is the meatball. It said one meatball on Uber Eats, but I think they gave me three meatballs. Yeah, I think that's three. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Now, this is the couscous mac and cheese. Smells incredible. It smells nothing like mac and cheese. It smells very, like it has a lot of spices. I love couscous. I love mac and cheese. I've never had them together, but I'm always here for more carbs. Okay, now here are the fries. So they come in like a fast food style container. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, so these are the pizookies. Guys, I've never in my life had a pizuki. I know that a lot of my amazing members have had pizukis. I think one of them is um, Lydia and um, Malia also. I think they've had pizukis and they've told me, get a pizuki, they're amazing. So I think this is the white chocolate macadamia nut one. It smells like that. It smells amazing. Very nice. Now this one, I think it's peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter, but it smells kind of weird too. It smells very oily. I don't know about that. Oh no, I think some of my items are missing. Oh no, I think we're missing like two or three pizookies. Um, We do have a lot of ice cream here though. That's one ice cream um, for the pizookie and another one. And they're not melted for the first time. I ordered 
covered ice cream and it stayed perfect. So I'm gonna put it into the freezer right now. Okay, let me see what I'm missing. I'm missing the bacon, the chocolate chunk pizookie, the onion strings, and I think the sugar cookie pizookie. So I'm missing four items. Do not worry, I'm gonna get my coin back on those items right now. But the good news is I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 items to try. So that is still a big ass video. So get ready guys, grab a meal. It's time for BJ's. <laughs> Oh my god. I think first things first, we should do the guacamole and chips. This guacamole smells so ridiculously refreshing and good. I have very high expectations and I love that it's super chunky. It has like huge massive avocado pieces. The house made guacamole and chips was $6.25. Once again, I got everything under $7. I just wanna dive right in now. I flip this over so there's like tomato and like different toppings underneath. I have to get to them. Let's try it. Mmm. Wait. Let me flip this blob over. I need those other toppings. Come on. I got some pico. Hmm. Very, very good. Just very simple flavors, but so good. Mmm. -hmm. I got a huge chunk of avocado. So it's very, very, very refreshing but it's very, very, very simple. It is not the most flavorful guacamole that I've ever had, but it might be the freshest. Like, it just tastes really fresh. Mm. Some guacamoles can be too cilantro-y. This one's not. It has a very light cilantro flavor. Mm. I have to give this, sorry, I keep chewing, it's so good. Honestly, a nine out of 10. It could be a little more flavorful, but it's just so fresh and so just nice that I can't say anything bad about it. Mm. I can't stop. <laughs> we have to move on to the next item. This is amazing. One more. I can't get too full, guys. I have to try everything else still. Uh -huh. Now, price-wise, I do think it's fair. It is under $7. It's a big appetizer. It could It could feed a lot of people if you're sharing it. So I totally think that it's worth it and it's priced well. While we're here, we might as well try the salsa with the chips. Smells. I know you didn't wipe enough. I think that hurts from hell. Your house is an ugly shade of pink. Here's the salsa. It smells very hot saucy. It smells like hot sauce. The chips and fire roasted salsa was $5.25. I think that's also a pretty good price. I mean, salsa is obviously a lot cheaper to make than guacamole because avocados are pricier. So I'm glad it is cheaper than that one. Um, it doesn't look that chunky. Let's try it. Very interesting. Very different. Wow. I'm getting a feel for it, okay? So, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like chipotle flavored hot sauce, like the seasoning chipotle, not the restaurant. It has very strong chipotle flavor. And at first I was like, mm, I don't know, like it's kind of just like hot saucy, but it's really addictive. It's really good. It's very different than your typical salsa. And it's very flavorful. Unlike the guacamole, which was very natural, and delicious. This is more like poo pow delicious. Mmm, it's really good. It has the same kind of addictiveness as buffalo sauce, but it doesn't taste like buffalo sauce. It's very tangy, almost vinegary. I love it. Mmm. Okay, this is also a nine out of ten. Very, very good. So far, I'm very impressed with BJ's. Okay, so that's time. I had way too many chips, guys. <laughs> Next up, let's try something simple. Let's try the chicken breast. 
Reminds me of a really big pimple popping pop pop. I promise I'm not trying to be rude. I just like I said, there was an option to get it grilled or blackened. I chose blackened because I just felt like that would have more flavor. This chicken breast is only $3.95. That is a very good price. Under $4, that's amazing. And also the fact that it's on the menu, you can just click it, just get a chicken breast by itself. I think that's very nice because you could get this with like one of the sides and have a very affordable meal. It's great. But does it taste good? Let's find out. I know that a lot of people cut with a knife and fork, but I just like to use my fork. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh my word. Oh my goodness gracious. Get off of there. Wow. A lot of these sit down restaurants have really basic plain chicken breasts. This is not one of those. This is so flavorful. Mmm. Wow. It's a good size chicken breast. A lot of chicken breasts can be like really small. It's a good size. The flavor is so good. It's a tiny bit almost too salty, but it's not just almost. The seasonings aren't too strong. It tastes like blackened chicken, but not like really, really overly strong. It's perfect. I am really snatched by how good this is. This is like delicious. I would totally get this with a side or two and that would be my meal. I'd be so happy with this. This is a 10 out of 10. Next up, let's try a side. Let's try the mashed potatoes. They're in a perfect cup shape. <laughs> Calm down. You sound really bad hurt right now. You think I put on some weight. The white cheddar mashed potatoes are $3.50. That's a great price. It's a decently large portion. If you like flatten it out, that's a good amount. See? So if the chicken breast is four bucks and this is $3.50. You can get a full chicken mashed potato meal for under $8. Just order it separately. <laughs> That's really, really good for like a sit down place like BJ's. That's really good. So the potatoes look very creamy, almost too creamy. Looking a little boxed. I hope they're not boxed. Y'all know I do not like instant mashed potatoes. I don't think that they count as mashed potatoes. Let's try. Those are real. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my lord. Okay, I have to slow down. Everything is so good that I'm gonna be so full by like the seventh item. Oh my god. Those are some of the best sit down restaurant mashed potatoes I've ever had. Oh my goodness. The filet bar. I can taste the cheddar, but I can also taste tons of butter, like mountains. Perfectly salted, perfectly seasoned, perfectly textured, perfect everything. This is incredible. Some of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. I'm trying not to eat them all right now. It's really difficult. Oh my goodness. Those are a 10 out of 10 mashed potatoes. I have to order from BJ's more often. Wow. Okay. 10 out of 10. There's nothing else to say. I will say one thing. They're a little stretchy in texture, which is kind of weird. I think that's because of the cheese in them, but that's the only thing I'm like, eh, about. Everything else is perfect. Next up, let's try. The other potatoes, the fries. You just try to hurt. You think I need plastic surgery? Well, this is just an example of how trashy your opinion is, bitch. I look like Thor. I've never had their fries. Very exciting. They're three dollars and twenty-five cents. Good price for a side. I am not gonna try them with ketchup. I always say good fries don't need ketchup, but ketchup complements them. You know. Let's try. Oh my lord. And they're lukewarm and they're really good. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So these fries are incredible. <laughs> I'm thinking about everything today so far. They have a really fun, fair flavor. They taste fried, but like the good kind of fried. Not like oily, but like, oh, you know it's fried. They have some of their skins on them, but you can't taste them, which is good. No one, no one likes the taste of the potato skin, <laughs> let's be real. I know it has vitamins and minerals, but I'll just take a damn gummy multivitamin if I want those. The texture inside is fluffy, the coating is crispy, they're perfectly salted, 
perfect flavor. I'm so impressed. These are a 10 out of 10 fry. Usually at these sit-down places, they have really basic fries. Like they just taste like fried potatoes. This tastes like a fry that they tried to make taste good and they did. They succeeded. And for that, I just want to say congratulations. Next up, let's try... Let's try one of the pizookis, okay? I have never had a pizookie. I'm very excited about this. So I'm not exactly sure which ones we have here because I thought this was peanut butter, but I see little white things in it. So I'm thinking it's the macadamia nut white chocolate one. And then this one, I think is just the plain sugar cookie one. So I think that I was actually missing the peanut butter and not the sugar cookie. Let's first try the sugar cookie. I'm going to pop it in the microwave, heat it up until it's nice and warm, and then put the ice cream on top. Ooh. Okay, the cookie's all nice and warm. I have my ice cream here. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Okay, let's just scoop it. Oh, wow. That ice cream is a really creamy texture. Very, it's like a custard. Look at that. Okay, let's first try the ice cream by itself. Oh, so simple. So vanilla, radiant, gorgeous. The sugar cookie pizookie was $6.95. That might sound pricey, before a sit-down restaurant, that's actually a very good dessert price. I think this is big enough to share with like two people that gave a lot of ice cream. Let's try the pizookie. I wanna first try it by itself without ice cream. Oh, hot. Oh my God. That's a great sugar cookie, wow. Now let's try it with the ice cream. Okay, I feel like I'm being spoiled today. This is like the best taste test, what the hell? This isn't just cookie level good. This is more like cheesecake level good. It doesn't taste like cheesecake, but it's just that good. One more, and then I have to move on. Wow. Okay. And guys, I'm not being dramatic. This whole taste test is like destroying me. What is going on? I'm a cookie stan. I love cookies, I love sugar cookies. But cookies are never the dessert I would choose over like cheesecake or pie. But this cookie, I would choose this over any of those. Wow, that is the best sugar cookie I've ever had. The middle is so gooey, but not in a gross way, in like a cooked way. It's like meant to be gooey, you know? The cookie has a chewy texture as well as gooey and soft. Somehow it just gets all three in there and the edges are crispy. So it, it's just, Everything amazing that you would ever want and need in a cookie is this. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is a 10 out of 10 perfection. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer because I don't want the um, ice cream to become a pool. We will do the other pizuki a little later. Oh, my battery's done. I'll be right back. Next up, let's try the rice pilaf. And it's a Now, I feel like every sit-down place has some kind of a rice pilaf, but no one ever gets it, right? I have never in my life heard anyone say, oh yeah, can I have my grilled chicken with the rice pilaf? No, if you're gonna have a carb, you're gonna have mashed potatoes or fries. The rice pilaf was $3.50. Very good price. I think that's a decent-sized portion for a side. I see little peppers. I see little, just a lot of peppers. <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm. Okay. I don't know if I like this. Hmm. The first myth of the day. I don't know. It has the taste of a microwavable packet of rice. Y'all know like those Zatarans and all those different brands that, right? It's like the pouch you can just pop in there for like 90 seconds. It has that flavor, that processed taste, but like with less seasoning. I'd have to give this four out of 10. Next up, let's try the burger patty. <laughs> Once again, just like with the chicken, I love you can just get a burger patty by itself. It's just on the menu. It's $3.95, very good price. This is perfect um, for people that are low carb. You can just get like a patty with um, some sides. I think I got mine medium well because that's how I like my uh, burger patties. There's a tiny bit of pink in there, which is perfect for me. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Oh wow. 
That's delicious. So, oh yes. You might be thinking, Timmy, that's just a burger patty. Like, how can it be that delicious? I'm judging it based on it being a burger patty. So it isn't like more delicious than like a lasagna. It's it's delicious for a plain burger patty. So the outside is very crispy, very crunchy, salty. It's very well seasoned. A little garlicky. The inside is soft. Perfectly cooked. It has a very charbroiled flavor. And um, it's not greasy, shockingly, at all. It really isn't. I'm here for this. For a burger patty, 10 out of 10. Perfection. We only have five items left, guys, with Brussels sprouts, the meatballs, the peanut butter pizzuki, the couscous mac and cheese, which sounds so interesting, and the garlic knots. Let's do, let's do the Brussels sprouts. You know, they're fun, but let's get them done with. They're a vegetable. The honey sriracha Brussels sprouts are $6.95. I think that's so overpriced compared to the other sides. I think this is considered an appetizer, so maybe that's why, but it's the size of a side. It's a vegetable. Like, this should be under $4, just like the other sides. So, let's see if it's worth it. They're good. For a vegetable, it's really good. You can tell that they really season them made sure they had flavor. I can taste a little bit of sriracha, but it's not spicy at all. I just taste the flavor of it. And I can taste the sweetness from the honey. And they're cooked very nicely. They're not burnt, but they're like broiled, you know? For a vegetable, queen, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, what's going on? This restaurant is so good. Okay, next up let's do the garlic knots, shall we? It's not my fault you've got a trash opinion. Something smells like anus. Oh look, it's your opinion again, who knew? What? Come I can heat them up just for 30 seconds just to make them a little more delicious, you know? They're all nice and warmed up. I have some marinara sauce right here. It smells good, it smells, it smells typical. The garlic parmesan knots were $5.75. For that price, we should be getting a few more, maybe seven or eight of them, not four. It's kind of small. Ooh, they're so warm. Okay, let's first try them by themselves. Ooh! Mmm. 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 I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about them. They they taste like really doughy, which I love, but the flavor is kind of just serving me sandwich bread. So the texture is perfect, but I'm not getting anything else. Let's try it with the marinara. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot. Mmm. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. It's just kind of serving me pizza crust. Like pizza with the fun sucked out of it. I don't know. The marinara is pretty good, but this just tastes like bread. Like nothing special. Um, I'd have to give this a three out of 10. Sorry, wow. We are at our final three items. The meatballs, the couscous mac and cheese, and the macadamia, I think, pizzuki. Let's do the meatballs. Now, now guys, I love meatballs. I think that they're one of the best inventions ever. They're like meatloaf without the grossness, you know? So on the menu it says one meatball, $2.95. But they gave me three meatballs. Maybe they like changed the size of the meatballs. So, so like now three makes one, I don't know. Oh, they're tough, my gosh. Oh my God, that's a really tough meatball. Oh, it's on my... <laughs> They smell good. Oh, that's why it has, it's burnt on the bottom. No. Mm. Let me just try a non-burnt part. Okay, this is better. Let's see here. Much better. That first bite was serving me burnt. That's like all that I could taste. Um, so they're okay. They kind of have a processed flavor. They kind of taste like a frozen store-bought meatball. Not that that's a bad thing. I love store-bought meatballs and these are great, but the rest of the food has such high quality. This doesn't match. Let me try one more bite. Yeah. 
It's not serving fresh meatball. Now, it might be a fresh meatball, <laughs> but it just doesn't taste like it to me. So, I'd have to give this six out of 10. Six out of 10. Okay, final two queens. Let's save the pizuki for last as dessert. And let's try the couscous mac and cheese. I'm gonna pop it into the microwave real quick. This is called the Creamy Couscous Mac and Cheese. It is $5.75. Now, even though it's small, I kind of understand that because it just sounds very gourmet to me. So I'm like, gourmet food is always pricey, right? I see tons of couscouses in a cheesy, stretchy sauce. I see tomatoes, green onions, and bacon pieces. So I'm very pumped. Looks very interesting. Let's smell like, oh yeah, it has like a different kind of smell. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh wow. Very unique. Oh, I'm here for this. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Wow. So, I love couscous. If you haven't had couscous, imagine a mixture of pasta and rice. That's how I see it. Even though it probably is not that. Listen, I'm, I'm not educated on couscous. That's just how my mouth perceives it, you know? Very good, nice cheesy sauce. It could use a little more tang and poo and pow and a little more salt. It's very safe, very simple. I do taste other flavors though. There's almost like a garlicky flavor in there. Um, and the bacon is very crispy, very good. The green onions add a lot of flavor as well and the um, tomatoes add a, add a nice freshness. So it's very delicious, just very different. Don't expect full on mac and cheese. Expect kind of like a rice risotto kind of thing. It's serving me more of that vibe. So I'd give this a nice eight out of 10, very, very good. So last but not least, we have the macadamia nut and white chocolate pizuki. Let me go heat it up. Yes! <laughs> but for real, it stinks. If someone gets some light salt, get some pine salt, maybe a splash of Febreze. <laughs> but that okay, final item. Let's put this ice cream blob right on top. Oh, this texture is amazing. I love this ice cream. <laughs> mm. So there are a lot of other pizukis that I did not get because they were over $7. This pizuki was $6.95, the white chocolate macadamia nut. But let's go through the other flavors, shall we? They have a whole pizuki dessert section. So they have a hot fudge brownie pizuki, a chocolate chunk pizuki, cookies and cream, monkey bread, triple chocolate made with Ghirardelli, salted caramel, white chocolate, peanut butter, sugar cookie, gluten-free chocolate chip pizuki. So as you can see, there's a lot. They just all weren't under $7. This ice cream is priceless. I wanna first try this pizuki by itself without the ice cream. Oh. Oh. That one's rich. Wow. Okay, let's try it with the ice cream. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This one's somehow even better. What is in this that makes it so luxurious? It's like what every cookie should be. Oh my god. I'm so full. I'm ridiculously full, but I can't stop. I'm having diarrhea tonight, that's for sure. One more. Oh my, I can't, <laughs> I can't stop. Oh my god. I thought the sugar cookie one was just... Mind blowing, this one is like next level. This is an 100 out of 10, a 1000 out of 10. The white chocolate macadamia nut truly bring it to the next level of ooey gooeyness. And it's perfectly sweet, it's not too sweet, it's like just right there at the perfect amount of richness. Once again, the texture is just indescribable. And I truly think BJ's has the best cookies ever made. Truly! Wow, wow. Yeah, I'm holding back because I'm so full I cannot eat this right now, but I really want more. Ugh! So that was the whole taste test. I'm gonna pick my three least favorite items and my three favorite items, okay? Oh my God, that was just a moment. A whole moment. This whole taste test, I'm really impressed. And also these are the cheaper items. Imagine the pricier items, like the pizza, they have a whole pizza menu. They have so many different things. So I can't even imagine how good everything else is. In the future, I am definitely gonna do a whole pizuki taste test and try all the pizukis. I'm gonna do a whole pizza taste test because they have a huge pizza menu. I'm gonna do all the entrees, all the appetizers. There's a lot of BJ's videos to come because <laughs> I need more, wow. My three least favorite items have to go to 
the rice pilaf, not here for it. The garlic knots, not here for it either. And shockingly, the meatballs. I usually love meatballs, but these aren't totally it. But still, none of this food is like disgusting, just so you guys know. So now my three favorite items is gonna be really, really, really hard. Everything else was incredible. Salsa and guacamole can go together, okay? So they take third place. Salsa and guac really both did that. And then I think in second place, the blackened chicken and the mashed potatoes are tied for second place. They were just phenomenal. And first place has to go to the white chocolate macadamia nut pizzuki. Truly revolutionary. It changes the game. It changed my life and my taste buds. Wow, I'm so full. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh yes, by the way, here are all of my Patreon members. Thank you guys all so much for being amazing Patreons. I'm so grateful for your support and love that you give me. Like, I'm tr I love you guys so much and I am grateful for each and every one of you. So here are all of your beautiful faces. Subscribe to become a juicy tomato. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.